Good afternoon. Welcome to the Theotrade Afternoon Video. I am Blake Young. Today is September 28, 2023, and today we're going to look at three high yield stocks to buy now. Before we get into those three stocks, I want to start out with just looking at what is going on in the broad market and with bonds. So on the broad market, here's the spy. We've already talked about the head and shoulders pattern, the expectation that we could see a correction from about 460 down to about 430 and be looking at a 30 point break from this close here, which brings us down to about 410 to 400, somewhere in that range. And so we could easily see another 5% drop in equity. So we know there's a flight to safety. Historic flight to safety behavior has often times seen movements to bonds. But if we look at the bonds, bond prices are not going up. We're seeing bonds continuing to sell off. And so as bond prices continue to drop and we see prices slide to a new multi-year low today, we know that this knife has not stopped falling. We know that we're continuing to move lower and we wouldn't want to be picking up ZN or a bond when prices are continuing to fall, we'd be losing more in the drop in price and value than we're going to get in a year's return. If we look at the 10-year treasury yield, the annualized 10-year treasury yield right now, today hit 4.68, the highest level in 15 years. And as we see that push to these new highs, those higher yields are attractive, but not while bond prices are falling. So if we can look for safety with a yield and looking for a bond yield a bond return without being in a bond, that would be ideal. Now that's going to be found in some specific stocks that have good earnings, that have a good yield, that have stability, and that are in sectors that generally won't sell off as hard during the market's corrections. So as we look into this, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of different instruments. Let's start with Devon Energy. Now, Devon Energy may not look like it's an amazing stock because we're well off the highs and we've been down at these lows, but I want you to notice that Devon Energy really hasn't gone below its annual low since March. So throughout the last six months, we've stabilized in this lower area and we've just traded sideways more than anything. As we're watching this trade sideways, this is much better than trying to chase a 4.6% bond yield with prices that are falling 5, 8, 10, 20% this year. Devon has held up near these lows and hasn't really progressed any lower. It hasn't really gone higher, but we have the opportunity to collect a solid dividend. Now, the numbers that calculate for a dividend yield kind of are, depend on which method you use, whether you use a tra trailing 12 month or you use the last quarter projected forward or you know how are you going to calculate it that way. Generally speaking, if you're using a 12 month trailing dividend yield, what you do is you take these dividends through here, take the last four over the last year, add them together. We'll do this really quickly. 0 0.49, 0 0.72, 0 0.89, and 1.35, and say that's $3.45. $3.45 divided by 48.68 is a 7.1% yield, a 7% yield, if we have the same kind of dividends paid next year. And there's some seasonality to the dividends and earnings here. But one of the things I also like about Devon Energy being near these lows is it's a discounted item. It's a discounted company with good earnings. They have earnings per share of $7.33 per share, which is an increase of 54% year over year. You can see their current ratio and quick ratio are above one, saying they have the ability to meet their debt obligations. They have good sales. They have good free cash flow. They have good net profit margins. And that's happening while they're sitting at a floor. So Devon Energy looks pretty positive for a 7% dividend yield, which is about 50, 60, 70% higher than what the bonds are going to do. And yet Devon is not selling off. Good potential opportunity in the energy sector to leave the energy sector, but still stay in the commodity world. Let's go take a look at Rio. Rio or Rio Tinto is another company that will benefit with copper prices, gold prices, silver. If we're going to have inflation, Rio should be able to stabilize and hold up here as well. Notice same kind of deal. We put in a low, but we really haven't progressed any lower. If we can buy on a bounce and a move higher, then we're looking at opportunities to be able to benefit from a stock that's not falling, that's in a defensive sector, arguably, if we have inflation, and that will benefit for when the economy does turn and we see growth and expansion in materials and manufacturing. So Rio Tinto has some pretty stable 
price action over the last six months through here as well. And if we were to calculate their dividend, we'd take those two month or two dividends, two payments as we're looking at this. And this is a semi-annual dividend. That's why there's only two. And if we take those two numbers, we take 225 and a dollar 77 add those together it's 402 divide that by the current price and we're getting 6.2 percent again higher than the bond prices higher than the bond yields on something like rio tinto and we could dive into their fundamentals their technicals they have a positive five dollars and 57 cents earnings per share and let's take a quick look again at their quick ratio and current ratio current ratio is 1.6 quick ratio is one which anything over one says they have the ability to meet their debt obligations. We are seeing about 30 to 50% on some of the small cap, but 30% of most of these companies don't have the ability to make it through the next year without borrowing significant money. And so Rio Tinto has the ability to do that with their current and quick ratio as well. The last one we're going to look at is Altria or Mo, And it's not doing as well as far as stabilizing near multi six month lows as far as the charts concerned, but it doesn't actually move in as big of a swing. It's been pretty stable for the year, even though it just barely bounced up today. So I like the bounce that we have today. I like the idea that you could sell a put for October and get about one and a half percent for selling the $42 put. If you get a sign, then you saved yourself a one and a half percent. You get a better price there. And if we add up the dividends, you can see this is a quarterly dividend. Their last dividend was 98 cents. Let's go ahead and grab our calculator and add up all of our dividends. That's 94 cents times four, because it's paid quarterly. That's 376, divide that by 42.16. And this is the best of the dividends right now at 8.9%, almost 9% dividend yield. Now, Altria does not have the quick ratio that I would prefer to have. Its current ratio is a little bit low. It's at 83, but I do like the fact it has good earnings per share. I like the fact that it has great free cash flow. So even though they don't have the current assets to the liabilities where we want them to be, they do have some good free cash flow. They have an amazing return on equity. So they're doing really well as far as managing the team. They're just a little leveraged as far as in the short term is concerned. But I still like it for the fact that it's going to pay a 9% dividend. So if we sold puts into Altria, you get a 1.5% for three weeks. And if you get assigned, then you have a 1.5% discount on the price. And then you're getting paid roughly a 9% dividend per year. So there are opportunities. There are definitely stocks that we can look at that give us a dividend, that gives us a safety net, that gives us an opportunity to look for the flight to safety with a return. If we're going to chase a return in dividend yields, those stocks generally st stabilize and fare well during times of uncertainty and those flights to safety. So I'm looking at those. Like I said, there's about 20 different stocks that have solid earnings per share and have good option trading and have a good dividend return at or higher than the current yields from the the uh, government treasuries so those are the ones i'm going to be looking at over the next couple of days and just timing an entry like on a bounce like today on altria or selling puts when i can get paid one and a half to as high as three percent for a month to be willing to buy it and then collect that five percent six percent eight percent and even nine percent dividend yield on these flights to safety types of stocks. And before we wrap up, I do want to highlight one more thing. And I know many of you have already seen this, if not all of you have already seen this page, you know about the upcoming A Trader's Paradise, the Theo Trade 2023 live event. I know you know we're going to take good care of you. We're going to feed you well. We're going to give you drinks and food. We're going to take pictures with you. We have an amazing grand prize of the Falcon Trading Computer. We're going to be right on the beach, which is always a happy place for me. I love the beach. And so all of that, you already know, you know, it's up and coming, but I want to speak to this from a very personal perspective really fast. And that is this in 2011, I remember very distinctly in 2011, our family decided that we were going to not try to, well, in essence, try not to buy stuff, but to focus on doing stuff. We've shifted from things to experiences. And I am telling you that from that point on, from 2011 till now, 2023, I have tried to shift away from 
accumulating things to accumulating experiences, gaining interactions, gaining experiences in both my personal life and my professional life. I have traveled, I've gone on over 283 trips in my professional life. But it's since 2011 that I've gone forward and said, and when I'm in these locations, I'm going to go be present. I'm going to experience. And in my personal and professional life, I've tried to make that my focus. As I've done so, I can tell you I've locked those things up and there are things that will always go with me. There's things that I will never lose because it is a benefit. It is a win every single time. I look back at all these different experiences, going to the different places, meeting new people, and being there as something that has made me who I am. I want to encourage you that if you have your tickets, whether you have your tickets, bought your tickets already, or received it because of the inner circle, that you go and book your room and come join us. Come join us live. You'll look back at this event like I do at many of my events, knowing that I've added to who I am. And I've got a new experience that I have. So go do that. And if you don't have your tickets, buy your tickets today. Buy your tickets, book your room, come join us. Remember that the cutoff for the discounted room rate is October 3rd. So go do that today. Go book your room and join us at this event. Experiences are things that will go with you forever. They become part of who you are. And I would love to see you there. So join me, join the rest of us here. Just We're just a month and a half away until we're there. So come join us. Let's get this done and we'll see you there.